I have lots of questions about the Gathering Place Park tonight. Is it really public property and how does it handle security? Two Works for You reporter Chris DeMaria found there's a lot going on behind the scenes to keep you safe. It's awesome and I feel so safe here. 100 acres is a lot of space to cover, especially when you have to keep hundreds of families safe every day. But those families feel like the gathering place is getting it done. I feel comfortable, especially if it was just me and my friends. I'd feel safe and wouldn't have any problem with it. I definitely feel safe here. There's, especially at night, there's lots of lights. Executive Director Tony Moore says they're able to get it done because it's privately owned, even though it's open to the public. We believe as a privately operated park, we have the right to, um, to pick the rules and regulations that are in the best interest of safety and for um, safe regulations of our guests. Because the gathering place is privately operated, it really has three options when it comes to security. First, the park hires its own security detail to manage the park 24-7. But when things get a little bit too packed, it can actually bring in contracted security help or even off-duty Tulsa police officers when things get a little bit too crowded. Our security is in zones and evenly spread and available per zone. Moore also says Tulsa Police has a task force specifically assigned to the gathering place and the neighborhoods around it, as well as 180 cameras positioned all over and monitored all hours of the day. I mean, security is walking around. There's staff everywhere. If you need help, they're everywhere. If my kid were here, I'd feel very safe at nighttime because of all the lights and all of the security and all the cameras. At the Gathering Place, Christy Maria, Two Works For You.